Good afternoon. Today we're going to complete problem 1-2a from your textbooks on page 39 through 40. In this particular problem, the directions state, following are the amounts of the assets and liabilities of the New World Travel Agency at December 31st, 2012, the end of the current year, and its revenue and expenses for the year. The capital of Chris Tabor, the owner, was $120,000 on January, January 1st, 2012, the beginning of the current year. During the year, Chris withdrew $10,000. And then the problem lists all of the various accounts with the amounts. We are to build an income statement, statement of owner's equity, and a balance sheet based off that information. So let's get started. To create an income statement, the first thing we need to start with is a title. We list the title of the company, New World Travel Agency, the title of the statement, which is an income statement, and then we're going to list the period of which this particular statement covers, and in this case it's for the year ended December 31st, 2012. Once we get the title in place, we then start with revenues. We list the revenues, and in this case it's fees earned for $200,000. Please understand that fees earned is the revenue account for this problem. If there were any other revenue accounts, we would then proceed to list those. However, for this particular problem, there's only one revenue account. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to list the expenses. We're going to list the expenses in order of greatest to least with miscellaneous last. So we put wages expense 90000 We're going to expense for 45000 Utilities expense 18000 Supplies expense 3000 and then miscellaneous expense for 4000 And then we're going to total all expenses. We get total expenses, $160,000, bringing this out to the right-hand column. Notice that what we're doing is aligning the total revenues to the total expenses, so we then can determine the net income. And in this particular case, the net income is $40,000. $200,000 in revenue minus expenses of $160,000 equals $40,000 net income. So this company seems to be doing fairly well for this particular period. The next statement that we want to create is the income, the statement of owner's equity. We start with the title of the company, name of the statement, the period of which the statement is being created for, for the year in December 31st, 2012. And the first thing we want to list is we want to list the beginning capital. And in the problem, it stated that as of January 20, I'm not 21st, January 1st, Chris Tabor started off with $120,000 in capital. If we had any additional investments, we would then list those. However, if there's no additional investments, we will then list the net income for the year. And we determined the net income was $40,000 on the income statement. So we're going to bring that in and list it here. We're then going to with list the withdrawals of $10,000, and we're going to deduct this amount. Notice that it says less withdrawals, $10,000. We then will determine what the increase or decrease in owner's equity is. And in this case, we had a $40,000 income, and a $10,000 draw gives us an increase in owner's equity of $30,000. We then will add the beginning capital to the increase to determine the ending capital. So Chris Tabor Capital, December 31st, 2012, equal to $150,000. The next statement that we're going to create is the balance sheet. The balance sheet is just like the accounting equation. We list the name of the company, the name of the statement, and the balance sheet is for December 31st, 2012 only. We list assets, liabilities, owner's equity. We will list all of the assets. Cash, 110000 Accounts receivable, 60000 Supplies, 5000 For total assets of 175000 For liabilities, we had $25,000 in accounts payable. The Chris Tabor capital of $150,000 came from the statement of owner's equity. And we add these two totals together to determine total liabilities and owner's equity of 175000 Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. 175,000, 175,000. Our balance sheet is in balance. Now question number four wants to know what item appears on both the statement of the owner's equity and the balance sheet. 
And that particular question is Chris Tabor capital of 150000 The ending capital appears on the statement of owner's equity and feeds into the balance sheet. A couple of things I want you to remember when building financial statements. It's important to remember the flow of information one statement to the next. Net income flows from the income statement to the statement of owner's equity, and the ending capital flows from the statement of owner's equity to the balance sheet. This concludes problem 1-2A.